Hey folks, today we get a new Dumber Than Dumb, Stupider Than Stupid First Amendment Auditor from somewhere in the Kentucky area. And this guy has, he's fast approaching the dumbest auditor I've seen so far. I mean, every day I think I've seen the dumbest, but a new day brings another dumb. Anyway, enjoy the video. He also sounds like, uh, exactly like Napoleon Dynamite. Kind of looks like him too, don't he? Goofy looking, not very bright. You'll hear him. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, um, there's one like this at the police station in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, who em empties these boxes? Uh, each department usually has an individual designated to empty those boxes out. And, and where? Well, You'd have to ask him, but I really don't know. But there's the man to ask. He's in the next What's that? Um, are, are you Mark Gammons? Huh? Or who, what's your name? Tuck. Tuck? Okay. Um, um, well, we're asking questions about these boxes here. <laughs> uh, um, um, so, uh, hey, could you take your hand off your gun, please? Uh, no, just I just think. for my safety? Uh, no. y you don't want to do that for my safety? No, yeah, here we go. Round one. He's just getting warmed up. Don't worry. It gets better. This guy. Oh, okay. That's just how I stand. I mean, I mean it just, it's just, you know. I'm sorry, but, you know. Well, I just thought you'd have more respect for me and my safety. I'm a police officer. I'm not going to shoot you, okay? I mean, well, uh, you know, I don't know that because every day people are wearing the exact same thing. If you don't give me no trouble, I'm not going to shoot you. Well, I mean, every day people that are wearing the exact same thing that uh, you're wearing, you know, okay. like shoot people. Get to your point because okay. I know you're recording this, so I. So, 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 you, you know, like, um, um, my point is, I just wonder, you know, where, where, where the contents of this box goes once it's empty. Where does it go? Yes, sir. It goes in a locked container. Okay. And the state of Tennessee comes and picks it up. Okay. And they burn it in an incinerator. And um, um, no mayors come here and, and put pills in here that they've made themselves and, and you distribute them to the community? I don't distribute those to the community. They're locked. Yes, you heard him correctly. Do mayors come here and drop off pills that they've made into the box? You'll find out what he's talking about a little later on, but it's stupid. Some old mayor got busted for drugs a few years back. This is just absolutely stupid. These cops need to smarten up and have some policies in hand for these morons that come in just to waste their time. Anyway, continue on. The only person who can get to that is me. I have a key to that. And, uh, and uh, are no, you are you friends with uh, any mayors? Am I friends with who? Any mayors? Any any uh, local officials here, like you know, Red Bowling Springs I, mayor? I'm friends or... with everybody in this community. Oh yeah, so so. But, but um, I do not distribute pills out to nobody. Yeah, yeah, but um, but you receive them after he puts them in here, then? No, they put them in there themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm you saying. So the here. mayor comes and puts the pills that he made in there, and you come and take them out. Worst day of my life. What do you think? And then, and then, and then you would. Uh, yeah, I guess that'd be a question you'd have to ask the mayor. Yeah, because I okay. don't know. I don't know what the mayor's putting in there. Okay. I mean, you have cameras, and it's in, you know, and and you know, you're the law enforcement. You said it yourself. Yeah. There's cameras right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, I, I it just it just you know, as a citizen, it makes me concerned. You know that uh, mayors are out there making pills. Nothing, what are you talking about, a mayor? Making, you know, I mean, like, just go ahead and say it. Who are you accusing of? Well, I mean, how long have you lived here? I've lived here for 37 years. And, and you, you aren't aware that, that uh, the mayor, Red Boiling Springs, several years ago got uh, arrested with several pounds of fentanyl and heroin? But he's not and, mayor anymore. And a pill press? Oh, I, I, I know. And, I, he, was and also he was arrested, arrested so I don't know yeah, where you're yeah, going but, with this. But, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just wondering if the current mayor is, is currently doing well, that. Well, I guess you need to go ask you, him. You know, because people wearing the same exact costume as you guys are wearing. I have to take a little pause every now and then. I can't take uh, so much of this stupid all at once. I gotta break it up into segments. Okay, are you ready? Let's go back. You, you, you know, have been known to you, you know, you know, spread pills and and stuff like that around to the community. So you're accusing us of breaking the law, which you're doing. Uh, well, you know, I'm asking you if, if you know you're anything about. The law, right? I'm asking you if you know anything about anybody who has broken the law. This whole job is about people breaking the law. Jeez, and come on, man. If I do, I arrest them. You do? Have, have you ever had to arrest another uh, police officer? No, sir, I haven't. Uh, you've never found a police officer or, or any mayors or anything breaking the law? 
if, if they was, they got arrested. Yeah. But I've never arrested another officer, though. How long have you been a police officer? Uh, ten years. And in that entire time, you've never even seen another one do do anything illegal at all. Uh, no, sir. Uh, they would have went to jail if I had. Um, I guess I like hearing that. Uh, um, um, can I see your ID? No, you can't. I can't. No. Okay. Um. Y'all have a good day. Are, are you, so, so you guys are you're just running. You, you don't want to like stay and and, and talk about you know. Talk about what? We have nothing to talk. Going back to work and doing what they get paid for is not considered running away. Uh, it's called going back to work and being responsible. I've tried to help you, okay. and all you want to do is make up accusations about something that happened in an individual well, I mean, already been arrested. I, uh, see, if I had a big box to put pills Where in, you from, anyway? if I had a big you box, Lincoln, if I got a big box to put pills in, uh, well, you, you know, I don't. I don't need to give my ID, sir. Okay, so why do you ask for mine? Because oh, I'm not wearing the same costume as you. That has nothing to do with costumes. Oh yeah, it does. Like, like um, this you're... ain't no costume. Oh, it's not. This is an official uniform, is what you Okay. Mean. Yeah. Well, this is an official uniform, okay. and so what's I, your ID? Uh, I don't. I don't need to give it because you know I'm well, not wearing the same costume as you. Are you from Macon County? Uh, I, I don't answer if questions. If you're not, why are you concerned about what's going on in Macon County? Um, well, I mean, people are dying out there because of fentanyl and heroin. No joke. And, yeah, and, and, and mayors are pressing it into pills. And I'm you so happen to have a you that. so happen to have a giant box to put pills in. Yeah, the box is called a hazmat box for uh, dispensed drugs, needles, and things like that. Every hospital has them. Police stations are starting to put them in. It's uh, it's common. There's nothing nothing uh, new about it. The drugs are picked up routinely, they're taken to a place and burned. Usually they're burned. They're not flushed down the toilet, they're burned and incinerated. A uh, little educational piece for you there, dumbass. You suggest to the public that they come here and put drugs there. If I suggested the public that they come to my house and put drugs there, the only reason it would be illegal is because I'm not wearing the same costume as you. Worst day of my life? What do you think? It's and to me, illegal. that sounds crazy. It's not illegal to put your own prescription drugs in there to get rid of them instead of... You know, flushing them down. Yeah, but, but how, 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 do, how do we know that? Like, like we, don't, we, we, we don't know. Well, I guess, first of all, you don't have to know because it ain't none of your business. Well, I mean, I'm here and I'm cordial and, uh, you know, I'm just here to and cordially asking these questions, you, you, you know. Well, you have a good day. This is, how, this is how you figure things out. You ask questions and... Uh, all right, you have a good day. Have a good day. You too. Heavy door. Well, if you ever wondered what happened to Napoleon after the movie, now you know. Talks like him, looks like him, kind of. If he grew his hair out, frizzed it up into a perm. There you have it. Dumb going out doing dumb stuff, asking dumb things. Uh, he's been arrested several times for doing stuff like this, being a nuisance, refusing to leave, and... Oh, God, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, stupid is as stupid does, I guess. Anyway, hope you all have a great day now. Hopefully nobody will, uh... One of these free speech advocates won't, uh, try to hit this one and ban my free speech, but I'm sure somebody will somewhere, sometime. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Bye.